Hi, my name's Peggy Crow Roberts, and welcome to uh, my studio. If you are the artistic type and you're trying to cross over into the digital domain, stay tuned. In this video, I'm sharing with you four career paths for web designers. Hello everyone, it's Real Tough Candy from RealToughCandy.com back online with you guys today. Inspired by a tweet from my guy Ernest. Now he asked me to share some web design job tips. The bad news comes before the good news. Bad news, I really don't have any web design job tips. I wish I did, but that's not really my domain. The good news, I am going to be talking about these career paths, hopefully to clear up some misinformation. The biggest thing that I hear is that web design is dead. There aren't any web design jobs. They all pay minimum wage. Well, there's a speckle of truth to that last one. Web design jobs traditionally have not paid as much as web developer jobs, but that doesn't mean you can't make a career out of it. I know this may come as a shock, but the first thing you can do as a web designer is web design. I know, I'm clutching my pearls along with you. A web designer doing web design, who to thunk? I'm over here on Indeed. I typed in web designer in the city of Austin in Texas, USA. 407 results for that term. We have some openings for the graphic designer, UX designer, product designer, web designer, and developer. What does this person do? We're looking for a full-time digital designer and developer that loves designing beautiful websites, interactive pieces, and digital design elements. So with this type of job, as you may have imagined, you're going to design websites. But nowadays, the web is a lot more commercial. It's no longer a hobby. People are on the web. Businesses need things to look nice and function nice. So aside from this main thing, design websites, you're going to be developing custom brochure websites, expanding on initial digital web designs, creating page layouts, doing digital marketing. Nothing too outlandish here. I mean, you probably expected this is the kind of stuff you would do as a designer, but you are also working with different teams and there is an emphasis on marketing. So it says right here, you're going to be working with content writers, digital marketers other designers and account managers to organize content qualifications, strong portfolio, proficient in Adobe CC, experience in Sketch, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and jQuery. Okay, that's a big one. Every employer wants everyone who knows how to use a computer to code JavaScript and God knows what else. And to be fair, this employer is looking for a designer and developer. Um, but note that these coding skills are not at the top of the stack here. These are kind of buried down here. So, I mean, they are looking for that. These are skills that are needed, but you don't need to be a guru in JavaScript to be a web designer who dabbles in the development side of things. Also, command of UI principles, understanding of web-based development best practices. From the openings that I've seen, I'd say this is kind of standard. HTML and CSS, two years preferred. Sketch, two years preferred. Responsive web design is a big one too for designers. So not just dealing with Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, but the code. Web designer jobs where you're not doing any coding are becoming more and more of a rarity. Here's one that doesn't reference any coding skills necessary. This could be a good one. Emphasis on graphic design, three to five years experience in graphic design, color theory, graphic fundamentals, typography, print, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, and so on. Excellent eye for detail. 30 to 50 bucks an hour on a contract, but only 10 to 19 hours per week. Still, it could be a good side gig for someone out there looking for strictly graphic design slash web design. Welcome to Mole's Computer Moment right here on the Pepper Scott Toronto Web TV Radio. We're going to be speaking with Mole, and he is an expert in the Java program. Career path number two for web designers, WordPress. This is Jay Halfling's site. He's a WordPress designer. He offers all kinds of stuff. I don't know this guy, but I thought his page looked really cool. Now, WordPress, a lot of people hate on it, but guess what? The reality is that one third of the web is running on WordPress. And that is not an insignificant number. WordPress designers, WordPress developers, both great entry-level positions. Now, if you don't have any experience with WordPress, one of the things I suggest to newbies 
is to download a copy of WordPress. It's free. Go to wordpress.org, download what you need to download, get something like MAMP, WAMP, or JAMP. All three of those are going to provide you with an Apache server. Now you might not be using an Apache server or MySQL server on the regular, but in order to access PHP files on your browser, to see the designs that you build for your WordPress sites, you're gonna need a server for that. And again, MAMP offers the Apache server, but there's also other ones out there that can fit your needs. And so what you're doing as a WordPress designer is basically creating experiences within the WordPress platform. Everyone and everything from small businesses to nonprofits to artists to dance troops to symphony orchestras, WordPress is a great solution for so many of those organizations and people that designers are always needed. Now again, people will say, okay, you're not getting paid as much as a developer. We know this. Some of us out there really love design and we just want a career in it this is a great way to get started with that. You can stay within WordPress for your entire life, or you can move on to greener pastures. The choice is entirely yours. That is what I love about WordPress. It has multiple layers, multiple levels of challenges, and you can choose which level you want to go to as a WordPress developer. And in this case, WordPress designer. Career path number three for web designers, user experience and user interface. There is nothing particularly amazing about this website. This is lemonade.com. It's some sort of insurance quote generator site. I don't know, something boring to do with insurance. Uh, but I came across it because I thought the design was really nice and it just really illustrates the different things you can do as a UX UI person. Now, as a UX UI designer, you are responsible for the experience that your users have, as well as the interface that your users engage with. And you can kind of see the different elements that are here at play with the UX UI. We have the illustrations, we have the user flow where we see this and we see this, and then we say, okay, killer prices, where do I sign up? Um, if you study something like this site, this landing page here, really is a good example of a user interface. Any website, any web application that is serving a customer base needs someone who knows about user experience and user interface. Because again, this UX UI is also part of the marketing efforts. Are people clicking things? Are people doing things you want them to? This doesn't have to do with backend code. To get people to do something on a website, more often than not, it's the user experience and the user interface. Marketing to people, getting that psychology, getting those colors down and the experience down. So users do what they need to do, but they also do what you want them to do. So that is a very important job as a UX UI specialist. Let's go back here and just type in UX and see what pops up. 535 jobs in Austin, UX designer in Austin, 92 to $118,000 a year estimated salary, not too shabby. Tasks could include helping with HTML and CSS, designing UIs, analyzing user feedback, designing and delivering wireframes, user stories, user journeys, and mockups, improving the efficiency of the internal applicant tracking system. Responsibilities include developing prototypes, screenshots, wireframes, sketches, refining other people's ideas, coming up with your own, validating your designs through A-B testing or qualitative user research either yourself or working with a UX researcher and a lot of other things here as well. Also, ooh, we got this one, knowledge of HTML and CSS, JavaScript is a plus. People who do know JavaScript, even just a little, are gonna have hiring preference there. Career path number four for web designers, freelancing. There is a need around the world for high quality web design services. One of the best ways to get started with freelancing is in your local area. People down the street, people in your neighborhood, family and friends. I talk a lot about this in my course and book, Freelance Newbie. People have been loving it. It's launched multiple freelance careers for people. Um, it is geared towards web developers, but there is so much information that web designers can use. Freelancing offers unparalleled freedom. You can be your own boss. You set your own terms. I started out with freelancing a few years ago, and part of what I offered was web design. There is still a need for good old-fashioned web designers. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. If you need to get some ideas, 
says, right now I'm on awards.com, three W's, A W W W awards.com. If you need to get some ideas or inspiration for your own designs, they feature different sites every day. Today's site of the day is Unlock You by Cherry Inc. Some of this stuff is really cool to get lost in and get some ideas. To recap, four career paths for web designers in 2019, 2020, going into 2021 for years to come. Option number one, who to thunk it? Web designer. Web designers doing web design. I know it's it's quite shocking. Number two, WordPress designer. Number three, UX UI designer, getting that experience and that interface on fleek. And number four, freelance web designer. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please smash a button, leave a comment, join me in my Discord server. We're always talking about something interesting. Link in the description box. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Oh, that's how they do that. I've been to those places and I've always wondered what's behind it. So what's the difference then between JavaScript and HTML? I thought it was that's what did it all was the HTML. Well, actually, um, the difference is the HTML code. You need to run a web page. In, in mm -hmm. uh, JavaScript, uh, uh, you need HTML to run JavaScript.